nice to see you. Thanks for joining me again for another fun video with activities that we're going to do together. But first, we have to say hello to someone to get her to come out. Are you ready? Let's sing our song. Hello, Sally. Hello, Sally. Hello, Sally. We're glad you came to play. A little bit louder. Hello, Sally. Hello, Sally. Hello, Sally. We're glad you came to play. Hi, Sally. Hello. I'm so glad that you came out to play. Thanks. I'm excited about what the group plan is today. You should say hi to your friends. Oh, sorry. Hi, friends. How are you? How are you all doing? Oh, I heard somebody say happy and oh, excited. I'm excited too, friends. I'm excited too. Let's look at the group plan. That's a really good idea, Sally. Let's look at the group plan. Can I hold it? Yeah, you can hold it. I have to hold it with my mouth though, guys. I don't have any hands. Yes, our friends know that you don't have any hands. Thank you for helping me by holding it with your mouth. Okay. So this is our group plan today. First we said hello, which we did. We said hello to Sally. Oh, we forgot to say hello to Callie. Can we say hello to Callie? Hi, Callie. Hi, Callie. Thanks for joining us. So we're all done hello. Next, we're going to go for a walk. And when we go for a walk today, we're going to look for some things in nature, or if you're walking around the neighborhood, you can collect some rocks or pine cones or some sticks or whatever else that you see, and then we're going to make a craft with it when we get back. Okay, are you ready? Let's get ready to go for a walk. thought a great idea when I go out in the forest is to pick up some things and then I can make a craft with the things that I find. So I'm looking around and I think that the first thing that I'm going to collect are some sticks. So look down, 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 down here. I've got a short stick and a long stick. I'm going to collect all different sizes. Let's see what else we can find in the forest. I spy with my little eye something that is orange. Look friends, somebody painted a rock and they left it on top of the tree stump. Isn't that a pretty painted rock with orange and green? I spy with my little eye something that is red and green. Look friends, I found another painted rock in a tree stump, but this one's tall. What do you think this is? I thought maybe a ladybug or maybe, what's that? A watermelon, yeah. I see the green around the circle there and the inside is the red part and the black seeds. I found another rock, another painted rock. Look closely. There's a tree, so green for the leaves and maybe some colorful fruit in the green and a trunk, the tree trunk, and then look, there's an animal on the side of the trunk. Can you see what that is? That's right, it's a bird. And here beside the tree, it looks like, what do you think that is? I think it's a mountain. So it's a gray mountain with maybe snow on the top. Finding these rocks gives me an idea. I think I could collect some rocks and add that to my collection to make something 
for our mother on Mother's Day. So if you look down, down, down here, this water here, it's a creek, but I see some rocks over here. So I'm gonna have to step very carefully because I'm not wearing my tall boots today. I'm only wearing shoes. I need to be very careful. I'm gonna step over here and here's some rocks. I, I don't want them to be too small. I want them to be bigger so that I can paint them. There we go. I've got my four rocks. I found another painted rock. This is like an extra fun adventure in the forest today. Look down, 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 down. Can you see it? This rock I see is blue and red. It reminds me of Spider-Man because Spider-Man's blue and red. Guess what I found? I spy with my little eye more painted rocks. And I see a bug. Ah, it's red. Can you see the red bug? Let's get closer. It's not a real bug. It's a painted red ladybug on the rock. And I see, oh, look over there. I see a purple painted rock. Hmm. This is also a bug. Do you know what bug that is? It's a snail. A purple snail. I like that. There was a curve line around and around and around. Oh, and look on the other side too. And somebody painted an eye. That's a really pretty snail. I'm gonna put it back. And then other people can enjoy it when they go for walks. Kelly and I found another rock. But this one, it's not, somebody drew a picture. It's not painted. And this character, I don't know if you can see, it's a storybook that I like to read called The Gruffalo. Pretty neat, hey? Somebody drew it, it looks like with a black pen, and then they colored it in. I see some purple, and then his little friend here, the mouse. I can't remember what his name is in the book. I'll have to read the book again. I'm gonna put it back. If you find something in the forest, it's really important to put it back because then other people can enjoy them too. And seeing all of these painted rocks might give you an idea of how to paint your rock. Ooh, that was a really fun walk. We saw so many wonderful things and some things that other children had left in the forest for us to see. I, when I was listening, I could hear birds and I could hear squirrels with my ears and I could see lots of trees and sticks and rocks that we collected and we saw those really cool painted rocks looking with our eyes. It was kind of like a scavenger hunt. And now let's see what's next on our group plan. Hi. Hi, Sally. How was your walk? It was so much fun. You'll be able to help us make a craft uh, later. Okay, I think that will be fun. All right, let's see what's next on our group plan. First, so our walk is all done. I'm gonna put that on the back. Next, we're gonna do a craft. Oh, a craft? Yep, with all the things that we collected in the forest. Oh, wow, that sounds like so much fun. Here we have the things that we collected from nature. Wow, I see some sticks. So, um, I see uh, a long stick. Yep, and then there's a short stick here, a long stick and a short stick. And we got a big pine cone and a little pine cone. And then we collected our rocks. Now parents, after you come back from um, a nature walk, or actually even when you're in nature, um, one way to help build vocabulary is to work on or to talk about um, descriptive words like 
This one's big, this one's little. You can talk about how it feels. It's a little bit pokey, a little bit scratchy. Um, and with the rocks too, this is a big rock and it's smooth. Feel it, it's smooth. And then again, you can talk about things that you're seeing and hearing and smelling or how things feel under your feet, talking about all the different senses. So here we have, oh, here's my other big stick. It was behind me. <laughs> These are our longest sticks. Wow, that's so long. That's the big, that's the longest one. Um, I see the shortest one. Oh yeah, there it is. Here's the long stick and the short stick. Okay, so what are you gonna make? Well, I thought maybe we could make something a craft for Mother's Day. So I had an idea of writing, I love mom. And friends, you can ask maybe dads to help you with this or an older brother or a sister um, that you live with or maybe a grandpa. We want this to be a special surprise for mom. Okay. Uh, what are we gonna do first? Well, first, I'm going to make the letter I. The letter I? Yeah, for I love mom. And I'm gonna use one of my tall sticks to make a big letter I. And I'm gonna use some glue. Glue sticky. It is sticky, Sally. I have to pull, pull this off here. some glue on my paper and there's the letter I. Now I need to think of something I was gonna draw a heart because when you draw a heart that means love. So I love and I have an idea I'm gonna use some of my pine cones. That's a good idea Sally. We'll use should we use the big pine cones or the little pine cones? Um, maybe little pine cones because they'll fit in the heart. Okay, so let's grab our little pine cones and I'm going to fill the heart. Oh, fell down there. Got more little pine cones in my bucket here. And we can fill the heart like that. Uh, how are they going to stick? Guys, how are they going to stick? Uh, maybe we should use some glue. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay. I'm gonna move these pine cones over. I'm gonna put some glue on the heart here. And then I'm gonna push, push, push. Put all the small, the little pine cones in the shape of a heart. There we go. And then we, hmm, let's see. Now we can write the letters M O M. What does that spell? I can't read. That's okay. It spells mum. I think I need another piece of paper. First, I'm going to draw or write the letter M O M. Then I can see it better and I can put the sticks on. I'm going to take more of my sticks and one long stick is going to go start the letter M. And then I need two smaller sticks. So I'm going to take this long one and I'll break it in half. That can make the letter M. 
And parents, this is a really good um, activity to do too, just working on those pre-printing skills and using sticks, popsicle sticks, um, anything that you have lying around the house or that you find in nature. This is working on lines and circles and these are all pre-printing skills. And then I need one, another long one. Oh, here's another long one. There's my first letter, M. And then, hmm, I think instead of using a stick, because I don't have any sticks that are round, I'm gonna fill the letter M with more pine cones. Do you have, do you have any more pine cones? Yeah, I have some more pine cones here in my bucket that we collected. Um, should we do big or small? What do you think? Should we put a big one in the circle or a little one in the circle? Let's do both. Okay. So we're going to put a big one and then we'll put some little ones on the side. Like that. There we go. And it's filling the circle. Okay, so not sticking. And then we have another letter M. So we need one long stick and then a sh two short sticks, actually two long sticks, the same as here. One, two long and two short. So I'm going to take... Oh, that's a long stick! Yep, this is a really long stick. So I'm going to break it so that I'll have two long sticks. One, Two. There's my longer ones. And then these are kind of short. I'll use this one and this stick. Actually, that's a bit too long. There we go. There. So there's one craft that we made from things that we collected in nature for Mother's Day. It says, I love mom. That's right. I love mom. So there's one activity. Other things that we collected in the forest yesterday were rocks. So here are the rocks that I collected from the creek and then I think there was a few along the path that I collected too. So I'm going to paint these rocks and some of you may have gotten some ideas from the nature walk when we found all those fantastically painted and different colors and different characters and bugs that we saw. What a great idea to paint a rock and leave it in the forest. So I've got everything that I need here. I've got my paintbrush, I've got my paints and these are just um, acrylic paints from the dollar store and then I used an egg carton, empty one obviously, um, and put paint in there. And then I also have a glass of water so that I can rinse my paint off the paint. Brush. Wow, there's so many colors. Yeah, we've got a few colors here. So, what do you think? We've got all these rocks. Um, well, I really like that rock that was painted like a ladybug. Okay, we could do a ladybug. And then also, maybe we can try to write the word mom. Yeah, mom, because it's Mother's Day. Yeah, it's Mother's Day. Let's paint rocks. Yay! All right, here we go. So first, if we want a ladybug, hmm, do you remember what color was in a ladybug? Uh, I think that I remember red and black. Yeah, red and black, there you go. So let's see, I'm gonna choose this round rock, it's small. And I've got my... I see red. Yep, so we're gonna take the pink. Can I help? Uh, sure. You're gonna have to hold the paintbrush with your mouth though. Okay. Be careful. Good job, Sally. I'll hold, I'll hold the rock and you can paint it. Okay. We've got the red painted first. Thanks, Sally. You did a good job. Thanks. I, I did do a good job holding it with my mouth, the paintbrush. Yep. And so now we gotta rinse it. Yeah, okay. Let's put it in the water. Thanks, Sally. I'm gonna shake, 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 shake. Like that. Rinse off the water. And then, oh, I have a paper towel here, so I'll dry it off. Thanks, Sally. Okay, so, um, friends, what do you think we need next? So we've got red for the body. I remember there being polka dots. I love polka dots. I like polka dots, too. Um, 
What color should we make the polka dots? Well, we could do black or blue. What do you think, friends? What color should we do the polka dots of the ladybug? Black? Oh, I heard somebody say blue. We could do both. Okay. So, I hold it. Thanks, Sally. So we'll start with some black. And we're just gonna go dab, 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 dab. There's four black polka dots. And then let's rinse it. Okay, we'll rinse. Shake it, shake it. There we go. Now we need a paper towel. Yeah, we do. So we'll dab it on the paper towel. Now, blue? Yeah, let's do blue. Thanks, Sally. So pick up a little bit with your paintbrush and we could do four more polka dots in blue. One, two, three, four. Ooh, that's a pretty ladybug. Uh, let's see, what else do we need? Um, um, I think we need eyes. Yeah, we need some eyes so the ladybug can see where he's going. So, I'm going to... What about white? That's a good idea, white for eyes. I'm gonna stir, stir, stir my paint here. Thanks, Sally. I'll hold it up for you. Make two. They're white. And then two little. Like this. There we go. And I think the next thing that we need that ladybugs have are some antenna. So those are the antenna they stick out out the top of their head and can we do that in black yeah we can do that in black so dip 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 go up to the side that kind of looks like he has ears <laughs> that's okay so there there's our ladybug you can create whatever you want you can do whatever color you would like this is about having fun, making crafts, and your mom's gonna love anything that you make for her. Or if you wanna give a gift to your grandma too, you can do that. All right, so I thought maybe... Can we write the mom's name? Yeah, like mom, M-O-M? -M. Yeah. Okay, let's see. I think we need a bigger one for that. Whoops, it's rolling away, stop! Whoa, it almost rolled off the deck! Yeah, but it stopped just in time. Um, how about, I'm thinking of a color of something that's up in the sky in the daytime and it's big and it's bright and it makes our bodies feel warm and it makes everything grow and it starts with the letter S. I know, I know, just wait, just wait, wait. Let's give our friends a chance to guess. Okay, friends, can you guess? Big, up in the sky and... Yeah, sun! Good job, it is the sun. So I'm gonna choose the color yellow, just like the sun. Uh-oh, I don't have any more spots left. That's okay, I will put paint right here on the cardboard. There. Can I paint? Yep, I'll hold the rock and you can paint. Whoop, thanks Sally. There we go. Maybe when you're painting too, um, you'll want to wear clothes that it's okay to get dirty because sometimes paint doesn't wash out of your clothes. So you can just keep your play clothes on like me. I'm wearing my play clothes. My jeans, they're already dirty from playing in the forest when we went on our nature walk. So I'm going to paint that yellow like that. Thanks, Sally. I know it's hard for you to talk with the paint breath in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> So, now this is very wet and I'm going to let it dry for a bit and once it's dry, I'm going to write the word mom and then my mom will know that it's for her. Parents, when you're doing crafts like this too, I'm adding these kind of this sounds um, to what I'm doing because that also increases our children's vocabulary. 
And I know sometimes it feels odd to be narrating what you're doing all the time, um, but again, it's just that opportunity for your kids to hear um, all different kinds of vocab throughout their day. In school, we really focus on the process, not the product, so, and following your child's lead. So if you're playing, if you're painting, and your child starts to, you know, reach over and pick up a stick, then you can follow their lead and use the stick as drawing um, or just exploring with the materials that you have. And um, you, you can comment on what they're doing too. We want to make sure that um, it's important to comment on what your child is doing, not always ask questions. So you can just be like, wow, I love how you're drawing with the green or you could even use a pine cone say oh that's a good idea I wonder what markings a pine cone will make oh and you're dipping it in the red oh that's a nice long line wow I like your long red line and repeating those um, descriptive words and then the labeling of the color the length of the line, that again, all of those things, those describing words, helps um, expose your children to different vocabulary and then they will, um, may in turn, repeat those words. If they want, they can like pick up their rock and, hey, what a good idea, let's try painting the rock with the pine cone. So we'll like pick up the red and paint with it, like that, and you just, you know, let them be creative and create whatever it is they want and you know when we are following our child's lead and they're doing something that's really motivating they're more likely to stay at the activity and they're more likely to stay engaged with the activity to have that back and forth um, interaction that we're looking for in lots of our little guys Whoop, that was a big drip drip that dripped onto the cardboard all right, so there. It doesn't really matter what it looks like. What matters is that they were exploring with materials. So here, our yellow is dry now. And because I wanted to write the word, okay friends, I've got the yellow on the background. What color do you think I should write the word mum? Blue? I love that idea. Blue reminds me of the sky. And yellow reminds me of the sun that's in the sky. What a great idea. Okay. So I'm gonna go M. Just like our craft with the sticks that we did. M. O. And then kids are working on the circle. The letter O is like a circle. And then a tall line and a short line a short line and then another long line I guess yeah so there you go Mom. well look at these awesome rocks that we painted yeah they look so good thanks friends for helping us pick the colors yeah thanks so much guys so I've been sitting now for a while and I'm I'm feeling a little bit wiggly me too wiggle 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 so <laughs> let's go check out to see what's on our group plan. I bet we're gonna do something to work out our wiggles. That was lots of fun. Painting and creating with things that we collected. I bet you guys have made lots of nice crafts as well. And I'm gonna give one to my mom because it's Mother's Day on Sunday. All right, so we're all done our craft. I'm gonna take that off and put it on the back. And then we have one more fun activity to do. We were sitting for a while doing our craft and now I'm feeling a little bit wiggly. Oh, me too, I got lots of energy. Okay, well, you can come outside and look what's next on our group plan. Um, I see, <gasps> is that a hopscotch? Yeah, it's a hopscotch. It's a different kind of hopscotch though than last time. Let's go outside and hop around together. All right, friends, are you ready for hopscotch? First, I'm just gonna say something quick to all the moms and dads out there. Two really great things about creating any kind of hopscotch is first, you're working on gross motor and you're working on balance and then those 
hopping skills or um, coordination skills, coordination of your body. And the other skill that you're working on with your children, when they're drawing the hopscotch, you're working on fine motor development. Now, I've made a pretty elaborate hopscotch here, but you can create your own. You can draw shapes, um, just do simple vertical, horizontal lines, circles, those are all pre-printing skills. Now I have a regular size piece of chalk here. Sally, I'm just going to put you down for a minute. So when we're wanting our children to move from a fisted grasp to a tripod grasp, it's called like this, if the tool is long, They'll, some of them might naturally wrap their hand around. So what we do, and this is for crayons as well, is just snap it in half. And then when your child is holding it, they naturally have to bring their fingers like this so it moves away from the hand to the fingers, like that. All right, kids, are you ready to look at my hopscotch? We're gonna have so much fun. All right, Sally, come on over. I'm so excited. Let's look at the hopscotch, friends. This is our fancy hopscotch. Start, hop, whistle. I'm not a very good whistler, but we can both practice. Spin five times, and you can choose the right or the left side. Here it says, you pick. Then we're gonna do five jumping jacks, and then a star jump. Hi, Dora. And we're going to finish at the rainbow. Are you ready, friends? Let's hop. Start. Hop two feet. Whistle. I'm not a very good whistler. That was OK. Spin five times. One. Whoa, <laughs> I am a little bit dizzy. Um, I'm gonna go on this side. Actually, no, I'm gonna go on this side. Snap, so snap your fingers. Touch your head and toes. And then jumping jacks five times. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Whoa, that's a lot of work. And then star jump. So we're gonna jump and make a star with our bodies. Star jump. And finish at the rainbow. Ta-da! I can't wait to see your guys' hopscotch. That was a lot of fun. Let's go see what's next on our group plan. Woo, that sure was lots of fun. I definitely hopped and jumped and spun around and I got all my wiggles out. That was so much fun, guys. Hey, if you wanna make a hopscotch, you can take some pictures or get your mommies and daddies to take a picture and then you could put them on Seesaw for everyone to see and we could all share our ideas. And I would love to see you guys hopping on your hopscotch. What a great idea. If you guys, yeah, get your moms and dads to take a picture of any crafts that you made or like Sally said, a hopscotch that you're making and we can share all those and we can share our different ideas. Thanks, Sally. All right, so we are all done our hopscotch. So I'm going to take that off. And now it's time to say goodbye. So thank you again for joining us, Callie. Sally and I on our activities today. I had so much fun and I can't wait to see you guys again next week. And mothers, have a very happy Mother's Day. And remember to take time for yourself and whatever that looks like. Go for walks or just take some deep breaths or read a book or maybe you want to go for a walk in nature. Happy Mother's Day! <laughs> <laughs> this is my daughter, Alyssa. Happy Mother's Day, guys. Bye, friends.